Hello everyone, I hope this show finds you well. A lot more well than I am right now with my current sports teams. But nevertheless, welcome to the Brandon Dilworth Show. Before I get to the content that has made me feel like crap, I'm going to get to the content that's going to make both me and you feel good. So... You know how we start the show. Let's walk your wall. Feel good content. You know how we do it. Let's go. Donald! One of my TikTok friends asked me to sing a song for you. I hope you like it. You're about to lose your job. You're about to lose your job. And that's what I'm talking about. You know, I wonder if I should make a remix out of it. I'll have time between now and next week to think about it. But, let's get on with the rest of the show. If you could build a team from the ground up and build it on decades of mediocrity and fake hype, it will look exactly like the Atlanta Falcons because they have come so close several times they have lured fans in they had the whole country food in 2017 they had so many people from Georgia food they had me food and they got winning they started leading and, and when the end was near they blew it they got crappy in the second half or the fourth quarter and they just blow up any hopes of winning the big one. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what the Atlanta Falcons are. It's their tradition. They blow leads in the second half and let I'm going to show you, I'll, I'll talk about um, what happened in this week's game, but let me show you my reaction to when I was watching the Cowboys and watch how my mood changes in the, in the next several clips that you're going to see. Take a look. Hey, Falcons are up 29-10 and um, let's see if my mood changes. Because it does have the tendency to change uh, when it comes to these Falcons. So uh, let's see how they do. How I do. Does he have a first down? Does he? Ooh, okay. It seems like Falcons like to go uh, from a first down to a third down uh, multiple times. Uh, I don't know if they're trying to show off, but. It's getting, uh, annoying. Oh, 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 you're going to throw it deep? Oh, oh, oh! The Falcons turn it over on the fourth quarter with 143 left. Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. No, 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 I know what's going to happen. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I know what's going to happen. <laughs> no! I'm good. Yep. They lost. 4039. Oh, shut up. And now I'm going to show you what happened this week when the Falcons took on the Bears in Atlanta. 
at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. You know, the one, the billionaire owner, Arthur Blank, built for both the football team and the soccer team when really it was more built for the soccer team than it was for an American NFL football team. But let me show you uh, what happened in that game. Let me pull it up. Okay, they were leading 16-10 at the first half. And then, what happened? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know what happened. The Chicago Bears, they came back to bite us in the you-know-what. And they scored 20 points. And they won the game 30-26. And this was my reaction on TikTok. I'm not surprised. I, I knew exactly what was going to happen. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. My hopes were brought up just for them to be torn down. That was me last time. Not me this time. I knew it. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it. That encapsulates my reaction to the squeeze game. Because I, I wasn't surprised. I knew what was going to happen. I knew what was going to happen. And I was right. Finally, I'm right about something when it comes to these Falcons. And you know, I, I did think about that Cowboys game, you know, as painful as it was. I wonder what was going through their minds at the onside kick, you know, that little onside kick where, uh, you know, they, the Falcons players, they were watching the football spin, you know, like a spin the bottle, you know how you spin the bottle. I wondered what was going through the Falcons' minds. As a matter of fact, I have a video that shows what was going through the Falcons' minds. So take a look. Is it pointing to me? 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 Nah. It's going to me. Ooh. Oh, bruh. Oh, you, uh, you've been hurt for three years. <laughs> well, here's to another year. Stay safe. Oh, and, and tell Dan Quinn. Thank you so much. <laughs> How about the Cowboys? Woo! Yep, and now you know two things. One... A football onside kick is not the time to play spin the bottle. Oh, and number two, Stephen A. Smith, I saw you a few weeks ago with that Atlanta Falcons jersey, okay? You looked like a clown. But I'm glad that you finally see the light. I hope that thing's in the trash compactor by now. John Morgan, it's time for a meme for the people. And that's me right now. That's me right now with schoolwork, social media. I'm going to need a break for one of them. And God knows the breaks that I get from schoolwork are few and far between. You know what? Let's just cut to the chase. Brianna Taylor deserved better. Her family deserved better. And what happened in Kentucky was anything but the outcome that we wanted and the outcome her family needed. It was disheartening, unsatisfactory disappointing and unfortunately not surprising considering when you take in Daniel Cameron an African-American man who supports the values of someone who discards and disrespects African-Americans unless you agree to his questionable values he's lost and the least we can do is pray for him and pray for Brianna's family but there is one thing that we can most certainly do and I changed the intro today and going forward as we move toward this election. It's the one thing that we can all do. The one word that we all have to exercise. Vote. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Love y'all. God bless. Please wear a mask. I'll see y'all next time. Stay safe, everybody. <laughs>